Alright, what up guys, Plock the Master Gamer here, and today we're playing some Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a cool little, like, exploit glitch thingy. It's actually kind of like a twofer. If you don't already know the duplication glitch, I will be demonstrating it in this video, because this exploit is actually an exploit of a glitch. It is an exploit of the duplication glitch that allows you to stack the enchantments of any, like, armor or clothing pieces that you enchant. This only works with armor, it doesn't work with weapons, so it only really works with your, like, permanent effect type enchantments. Enchantments. It doesn't work with like, uh, you know, uh, shock damage or anything crazy like that. The way we're going to do this is I have sigil stones. It's just kind of the easiest way for me to enchant stuff. I mean, you can do this with any enchantment. So let's just grab like fortify strength or something like that. Our strength is already at 90. My carry capacity is 475. First thing that you're going to want to do is duplicate whatever sigil stone or whatever you're working with. Of course, if you're just enchanting stuff normally, this part doesn't really apply to you, but because I'm using sigil stones, I'm going to duplicate these first. So, of course, you need multiple of a spell to duplicate. I'm not going to go too in-depth into the duplication glitch, but we're going to click on our scroll that we're going to be using, and then we're going to drop the sigil stone that we wish to duplicate, and then boom, all of a sudden, we have that duplicated. Second step of this is we're gonna need a multiple of some sort of armor piece. So it could be an actual armor piece. It could be like a cuirass or boots or whatever. I think the only one it doesn't work with is shields for some reason. I don't really know what the deal is with the whole shield thing, but apparently like shield enchantments are kind of broken. But anyways, it works with rings. It works with other jewelry. So we're just gonna be doing it with rings. Again, you're gonna use the duplication glitch to duplicate these just because it makes it a lot easier to do this, you know, a bunch of times with a bunch of different enchantments. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do our fortify strength onto this brass ring and we're gonna name it something simple you might as well like name it something that starts with an A just so it'll start at the top of the list that's what I've been doing and uh, you're gonna want to get somewhat creative with the name because once you use this glitch on that armor piece you will no longer be able to use that armor piece with that enchantment and that you know armor name uh, you'll see here in a second so we got the triple A Z we're gonna duplicate it and you only want two of them because you only need two of them. I duplicated three, but that's only because I have three scrolls with me. We will need three of them later on though because you need to duplicate more than the two that you have. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna equip one of them. And as you can see here, our carry capacity went to 510. So while you have one of the duplicated rings equipped and one of them in your inventory, what you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate it again. And now this number, this number three, you need to have more of these scrolls than you have of your duplicated things. So that's why we only picked up two of them because I have three of these. And so that's, that's enough. And so we're gonna equip the scroll and we're gonna drop the one that we're not wearing. And you'll see that it unequips the ring but our carry capacity is still 510, and when I go to equip it, it says you cannot equip this enchanted item right now. So we're just gonna drop that, and you'll see, um, it doesn't matter which one we pick up, we can no longer pick up something that has that AAAZ or whatever marking on it. Just to kind of like show you guys what I mean, uh, this works for anything that you've ever duplicated. So these are some like Greaves of Strength that I duplicated a while back. Um, I've even like saved and reloaded the game since then. It still won't let me uh, wear them so I don't know if that applies to different pieces in, or like different items like you know like if it was like a iron greaves or something I don't know if it would apply to that if it had the same name but I know if it's the same item with the same name and the same enchantment it will not work so anyways you do that you drop the one that you just duplicated and you just rinse and repeat so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna get the fortify and we're gonna click another ring and then we're gonna name it something else. Now, of course, we already used triple AZ, so we'll do like triple AX. Doesn't matter what you name it, I just put a couple A's in there again so that it shows up at the top of the list when I'm doing this because it makes, it just makes things happen a bit faster. And of course, we pick up only two of them, not all three of them, just because that other little duplication portion won't quite work if you do it that way. So then we're gonna drop that. And as you can see, we got 545. We're no longer able to equip that and boom bada bing bada boom and now of course this works with any enchantment um, as long as it's an armor enchantment one of those indefinite enchantments what do you call that a constant effect enchantment and you can see here um, i've done this with a few different things you can see here uh, my resist magic is 50 you can see all the different enchantments i've used there for that here's my fortified strength you can see all my greaves and gauntlets and stuff that i did the double ax and the double az or of course my rings that i just made and yeah, no, this works for any any enchantment again. It's pretty fucking nifty. I don't know if there's any limit to how many times you can stack stuff, but it's a pretty good way to just get your characters like super powered as you want it to be. Um, 
Real quick though, I do want to show you guys just what will happen here if you don't do it right. So we're, we'll do it, uh, let's do it with resist magic, just because fuck it, why not? We'll do that, add the brass ring, and we'll name it double A, R, or a bunch of A's and an R. And then we will duplicate it. And then we'll pick up all three of them. And you'll see what I mean here. If we equip one, and then we do the thing, it'll drop all three of them. And uh, my strength goes back to normal. And now all three of them are there. And it doesn't let you equip it anymore, but the effect is no longer like permanent. You know what I mean? Yeah, so the, the bunch of AR thing, not not there. So as you can see, it'll it'll just kind of like fuck it up for you. It'll just be kind of like a waste of items because it just, it won't work. See, I can't even like equip that anymore. So even if I wanted to try again, I would have to like make a completely new ring set to make that work. One thing I do want to try also real quick is I want to just name something Greaves of Strength or whatever. We'll do this to the ring, but we'll name it Greaves of Strength. And uh, we'll see what happens. So it does let me do it. And I spelled it right, I think. Greaves of Strength. Yeah. So it doesn't seem to matter as long as it's a different item. If it is the same item, it has to be a different name every time. So you're basically just limited to your creativity as far as I know. I don't think there's any like actual physical limit to how many times you can do that other than like the limit that is how many levels you can actually have. Because even if you like use the console commands to raise these, you can only raise them to a maximum of like 255 or something not really sure what the reason for that is but that's like a whole other topic but anyways that is pretty much it for this video i just wanted to show you guys this cool little exploit of course this can be done multiple times to just have a super overpowered character so that's, that's just like super fucking cool in my opinion but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys found it useful if you did make sure you leave a like it definitely helps me out if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to catch any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter and with that being said this has been plock the master gamer with some elder schools for oblivion and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out